I ain't got a Scooby Doo to be honest. I'm gonna have to figure this out, you know. Surely that is the E, isn't it? And, oh, so that, and that's got to be the T, like I said before. So if that's the T, then that's got to be an O. But we just can't get round anything round this word here when we get it, can we? What was what was that one? Because I think that would be the oh what, what could this be? So that would be maybe D. Where's that circle? D. Tortomet. Oh fuck! Um. What the fuck? What the fuck are you? Oh, the fuck? oh there you are, funny end. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Together, what could that be? P. Uh, P for the that. Pierre, maybe. S. Pierre, report to someone. This is too urgent. Funny looking P thing, where are you? Uh, candelabra. Urgent to something. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I've made a mistake. And maybe. Oh no. So it could be a name. D for the U. Oh no, and someone both. Dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that I've got, what have I got left? F. That's something of. That something and of a verse. Who? All, all of us. All of us. Who? Are in came together in something or in danger. Take great care. So, what we got left? Vamada, Yamada, Zamada, Jamada. In July. Oh, what have 
Kreuzes kreekt. Nou. What the fuck? Stupid fucking puzzle mechanics. Take great care. Oh, just guess it. Take great care, kiss. Maybe. Pierre, full report to follow. But this is too urgent to wait. Arno and Ar Yamada, both dead. Yeah, said about Japan, didn't you? This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. done it. Are you taking the piss? So it started with P. I. Oh, sorry. Full. It was full, weren't it? It's too urgent. To wait. Oh no. And. Oh, we know that to definitely see. Let's just click the wrong thing. Right, so. July seems to be the only thing that could make sense. Out of what's there. I have decrypted the note. It read, yeah. Full report to follow. Who's but this daddy? is too What's urgent to wait. Do? Arno and Yamada both dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. X. I do those in the I paper. I wasn't the day. only one to make so the connection new. between the costume killer murders. I'd been right all along. That was why he had asked to meet me. But what did I know that he didn't? I had enough for a story. An amazing story that was going to make my reputation and blow my heart all pieces. I needed to get him fast and start by Oh, that was 
later that evening. The telephone rang. I picked up the telephone. Hey, Ronnie, you crack crack the Are you crazy? What's happened? Wait a minute. You didn't get anything, did you? Of course I did it at Red Rent. The last, as far as I'm concerned. It's important. It's with my idol. You can't destroy a national hero. He just said it. His corpse is his even the old. Ronnie. Two hours ago, I told you what I found. found. You loved it. You begged me to write my letter immediately. Two hours is a long time in the newspaper, Nico. Something will be in the paper. Listen up, Nico. And listen is good. good. Be here, Nico. Be here, Nico. And a lot of my friends. Powerful friends. For your own sake. Forget about that. that. You, got you got it. And then have a conversation. Good night. What if I suck you off? This is just a my mind break. I might do it and nowhere else to sell this story. If Ronnie would be printing, no one would. Ronnie, 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 I need to talk to you about your short story. Your PNR short story. How did you know about that? There are people out there, madam, that would be very, very upset by that story. Oh, really? Well, when's it like a day? It's been been by bite. Yes, I know, I know. We must meet meet. We must. I have him in my mind related to your costume to kill us all. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Captain and Velvet, Rue Rue Valley Hall. I shall wear a very rare coat coat. You must talk to no one about this. You can't tell me what you do. Tomorrow at 8 8. I'll be very waiting. Right, I am for you. Um, the plans are. I'm just a little bit of 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 could I trust him? Should I meet him or forget the whole business? I didn't have an answer. Plantard is a very uh, important name in this game, and you'll soon see why, I'm guessing. I'd only and been in this Paris for is where a the week, game starts. but already I'd fallen in love with the city. My latest discovery was a little cafe, La Chandelle Verte. I was pretty sure the waitress was taking a shine to me. Ooh, that old yeah. Stobart charm, I guess. Little did I know, my reverie was about to be so rudely interrupted. How Broken Sword originally starts. As I picked myself up, I was really angry. One minute I'm on vacation, the next minute some clowns blow me up. Yeah, I knew right away what I was going to do. I was going to find that clown and bring him to justice because justice matters. Justice is up there with liberty and equality and uh, fraternity. After all. That's why I studied law, wasn't it? Well, that and the, the money, of course. Money, money, money. <coughs> now, one of the main things was picking up this newspaper with that. Uh, the Ben Otago, me and my brother got stuck. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah Eddin, 1345. The big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnate, shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed confidence, like a regular French statesman. It sounds like they've redone some lines. The sight of the dead guy's staring eyes turned my knees to jelly. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit card. The guy's past was a blank page. I 
I'd hoped the fact that the mirror was already broken meant I'd escape the bad luck. Uh. I needed a stiff drink, but I hated the taste of brandy. Oh, my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, Sherry? George Stobart, ma'am. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. Remember that choice. I need a drink. Yes Pour me no. a brandy. Like this. You could be in shock. No alcohol. What about your man? Is he dead? Yes, he is. Oh, mon dieu. I've never seen a real life corpse before. Except for Grandmamou. That was different. She was family. As he. Gun stiff? I shouldn't think so. He's only been dead a few minutes. Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that horrible tune he played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I'd never liked accordion music either. Did the clown speak to the old man? No, he just laughed at him. Then he, he grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, he didn't open it. Did the old man try to stop the clown? Oh, he didn't have a chance. The clown dropped his accordion and ran out of the door. That's it. That's all I can remember. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. How did the old man behave? Well, agitated. He kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. As if he was waiting for someone? Yes, I suppose so. He was worried about something, that's for sure. If you ask me, he was having an affair. He had that look about him, like a guilty husband. I bet she's seen many of them. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. <laughs> did this newspaper belong to the old gentleman? I don't know. Someone has scribbled a note on it. It reads, Salah Eddin, 1345. Does that mean anything to you? No, monsieur, nothing. Stay here, mademoiselle. I'm going to look around for evidence. I needed a stiff drink. So now, Brandy. Let's go have a look at where the clown went. You'll see why I need that paper as well. The soon clown enough. had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Nice. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. It leads to nowhere. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. I decided I'd had enough of messing with that drain pipe. Oh, motherfucker! I don't remember that happening. Bastard. So you get for clicking on anything, I guess. The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. There was nothing of interest. But you can do it with a trowel. Right, so that's everything here, I think. I'm happy with that. Oh, you can double click to just skip to places. Here we go. Please, hold it right there. One of the best characters oh, oh, of the game. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American <laughs> consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Moo. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? 
Ah uh, no, I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the café, marche. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, move? Oui, monsieur, but I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. It skips some lines Examine there. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. Et maintenant, to business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so, apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Now, so I mean, there was some lines missing. Because when uh, Inspector Mo is Inspector, he says, "Stop that! Stop holding your breath at once, sir." And that's why he says about, uh, "As it occurs, you might be dead." I don't understand why he missed that. Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. The picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Mu? She'll leave. She confirms the American statement. A clown with an accordion, no doubt an elaborate and eccentric disguise. Very well. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I Don't honestly you, believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. I'm here. We meet the cop. And I will see you on the flip-flop. <laughs>